Hello, 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 great viewers of my time. You are welcome to Blessed Biafra Network, a bar no winging network where you can get authentic news and the great news that you are looking for. Do not think we are joking here. Come to Blessed Biafra Network right now. You will see what is happening. This is what we are talking about. It's one of the best. I'm talking about the best. What are we going to show you right now? Something new. Check it out. And the peace in this state is being is under assault. There's an attempt at ethnic cleansing in this state and of course in all the riverine states of Nigeria. We must resist it. We must stop it. Every one of us must rise up. The armed forces are not neutral. They collude. They collude. They collude with the armed bandits that kill people, kill Nigerians. He heard him. He repeated it several times. He said that the armed forces are not neutral. He said that they collude, they collude, they collude with the armed bandit to kill Nigerians. He said that they collude with armed bandit to kill Nigerians. That was what he said. That was T.Y. Danjuma, a retired general. He was the one saying this. So if T.Y. Danjuma can say this, who the hell are you to tell us not to have Eastern Security Service? I want you to continue to listen to him. He heard it. He said that they fascinated their movement. They fascinated their movement. They shared them. They covered them. What he meant is that they covered them from the hands, from the eyes of the owners of the land. That is why sometimes when you see people talking about going to bushes to chase the flying hemen away, Nigerian government and Nigerian forces will tell you to stop it. That is exactly why they collected people's license, gun license. They shared them. They protect them from the eyes of the people. They collude with the armed bandits. And who are the armed bandits? We, you are, and I know who is the armed bandit. They are the Flani, most dangerous fought terrorist group in the world. That is, was what your president told us that they are bandits, they are not terrorists. Because he's also a Flani man. See why Danjuma told us that the security forces are not neutral. They collude. They collude. They collude. They mentioned it almost four times with the bandit, meaning the Fulani men, to kill Nigerians. Both in the river line and both in Biafra land. And both in Nigeria. That was what Iwai Danima said. So who are you to tell us not to have a security outfit? The same way they collude with 
bandit is the way the same way they collude with the wiki to massacre Obi youth. The same way they collude with the Lagos State Governor Anthony Bu to massacre and South protesters. This is what this people has been doing. When they want to get you, they will use corruption charge to get you. They will tell you to go and kill your people. You become governor. You see them, they will come, they will kill. Go and kill your people. You become president. You will see the useless governor, the picky pocket governors. They will come and kill. They collude with the politicians of the Oisna region to massacre the people of Oisna region. And that is the more reason why we're supposed to have a security outfit. Let us see how the Fulani men will come to our land and massacre and rape our mothers and sisters. If someone like T.Y. Danima can say this, who the hell are you to tell us that we, we cannot have security outfit? I'm talking to you, Wazirike. Who the hell are you to tell us what to do in our land, in our ancestral land? There in the north, they have security outfit. In the Duduwa land, they have security outfit. Why can't we have security outfit here in Odisna region? It's hard time. We we'll start taking care of those people that cause themselves our people and they will go and sabotage us every now and then. It's long overdue. We have waited for the so-called Igbo governors, the Biafran governors, the old Eastern region governors to provide the security outfit for us, but they have refused to do that. Even though a lot of things, sacrilege are going on in our land, Fulani men raping our sisters, our mothers, massacring our innocent brothers and sisters, and the soldier themselves killing us too for not doing anything because we want to stop the Fulani men from coming to our land to massacre us. That is why the soldiers left where in the north where they're supposed to be and come to Eastern region to stay so that they will monitor us and make sure that we don't harm any Fulani men. That is only what Danjuma was saying. The Nigerian armed forces collude with the Fladiham men to kill Nigerians. If not, what the hell are they doing in O Eastern region? Why can't they go back to the north to protect the land? After all, they are meant for external affairs not internal affairs internal affairs has always been for police and ever since the so-called nigerian forces are in land nothing 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 is moving well all the all the doors is collecting bribe from our drivers after they are suffering and smiling they will collect the little money they squeeze it out from them by threatening them the so-called flying man they said they went there to 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 tackle nothing has been done about it they are still busy raping killing and nobody's doing anything about it our governors behave like women like women wearing underwears wearing underwears with one part of pussy and one part of brocos that's what our governors are, are and that is why they behave like women even in the history, we have brave women, brave ones that are even braver than men. But these governors, you are seeing, <laughs> in fact, they are nothing to write home about. All they know how to do best is go and kill your brothers, we will make you governor, they will come. Go and kill your brothers, we will make you a senator, they will come and kill us. Go and kill your brothers, we will make you president, they will come and kill us, just like Devil Maya has done in the past and he's still doing now because he's a, he's now an APC member he had to do the bid of his slave masters just like the same thing that Wiki did in River State massacre Obi 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 boys in the name of his looking for Apple members what is it that Apple members did to Wiki? nothing they are not the ENSA protesters ENSA protesters protested 
for police brutality and they, they massacred them in a Lekito gate in Lagos. Because of that, people get angry and start destroying things. But the wiki have to put the blame in IPOB. We all know that IPOB, whenever they want to protest, protest they always come out, come out with their uniform. That was not IPOB protest. But because of wiki was bought by the so called Majiri, all those same people that call themselves Fulani, that is why we came and kissed his people because he want to be a vice president. It's a shame. It's a complete shame that whatever I have today in Oistner John is nothing but chicken shit. They have chicken brands, morons parading themselves around as our leaders. They are politicians. They can kill their mother just to make sure they keep the ambition going. But what about Hanese? What's their problem? They call themselves they are our leaders, but they have not done anything right from the beginning. They allow our brothers, you know, Bibo, you know, to be taken away from us by the government, by the Basanjo government, and put them in River State. And today, they are suffering. They are being key in their own land. For no reason. And this was not the first time we could did this. There was a massacre in Donald Trump's rally. That was the first time we could did this. Then we didn't know. But now we know better. The same thing Devil might have done. The same thing Nukesibas has done. All these governors that call themselves our leaders, they are all full of shit. But my question is, what is the problem of Hanese? All those governors, we all know that they are politicians. They can do anything to continue the ambition. What about the Hanese? What the hell is their problem? Both their little ones and their senior ones. In fact, we don't see them as leaders. There's no enough wasting our time. We we'll have to choose our leaders, and that person is Mazin and the Kalu. He has provided the security outfit for us since ever since we have been waiting for these governors and the Hanese to provide security outfit for us, just like the way all those governors you know did what land did, and just like the way all those governors in Northern Land did. But I refuse now that our leader Mazin and the Kalu have produced security outfit for us, it's better that the soldiers and the Nigerian forces should stay clear. We are not there. To insult anybody, any Nigerian force, or to neglect any Nigerian forces, or to disrespect them. We are there to protect our land from the hands of the Janjaweed, who they claim that they have been protecting us from, whereas they have been doing nothing. Rather, they are paving way for them to enter and kill us. That was what Danjima said. I didn't say it. So, the more reason why we have to do the right thing. I pity Wazirike. He doesn't know his left or right anymore. He came back from India. Uh, somebody told us that he was in India drinking a guguru. Yes. That was what was, was, was doing. That is why he didn't even pass out from the law school. He had no certificate. He came back and claimed he, he is a lawyer. Uh, he wanted to fight for our freedom. He sold the freedom while he was in the prison yard. He sold the freedom which because of some chicken change. Someone else take over. Someone else took over. Sorry, guys. And that was Mazin and the Kalu. Today, he had been doing the right thing. So, what is the hazards of Wazrike? Why can't he allow him to do his job? Why he was doing his? Nobody stopped him. He saw this himself. He saw Biafra struggle by himself. And his so called followers left him. So, what is his problem? What is his hazards? He claimed. Why he was we are being killed in the north that he went to the north and talked with the Yerima Shetima that uh, uh, I was shivering like uh, people that was beaten by co by Ren. He should be ashamed of himself. He went to north to negotiate the Igbos with the Fulanis in the Igbo land. Have you ever heard that Igbo man kill somebody Fulani man in the Fulani land? Or have you ever heard that Igbo man kill Fulani man in Igbo land? Rather, it's the other way around. It's flying, it's being killed, it was being raped, their sisters and their mothers and their farmland in their own farmland, being destroyed their farmland. What the hell are they talking about? 
or was it should be ashamed of himself? Does he think we don't know that he has been going inside the bush with Mustafa to see Flani Hemmen? Does he think we don't know about this? It's hard time we keep was where he's supposed to be. His own is getting too much. Him and that stupid the uh, what they call it, Eastern pilot, whatever, call himself whatever he calls himself. I don't know. Boy boy, moving around. Writing nonsense and the colour speeches. A fool that I know so well. Somebody who knows what he should tell him to show show. He should show show that we are tired of his rubbish. He has lost it. So he should allow those that want to stop Biafra to do so. Was he going to put his date to tell us that her mother's being raped? It's nothing. That her sister being raped is nothing. You heard it from him. When somebody told you that uh, uh, if one person or two people was raped, that doesn't mean that everybody had been raped. That shows that Wazika was very happy that her people are being raped. Can Wazika go to not? Or can any woman go to not and rape a woman? Even in Ebola, can any woman rape a flanny woman? No. They will cut off his womanhood. But they can do that to a beautiful woman. Who the hell? If was they, if was they could tell us what to do. He's beating mother he can chew. Maybe when they rape his useless sister and his mother, he will understand that it's very bad. To be with such people in one country. Yes, some boys might be criminal somewhere, in the north or anywhere. What we are talking about here is killers, deadly killers and rapists. They are, have you seen where Ibo's rape women, slanty woman? That's my question. He 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 talks he talks about uh, 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 what they call that guy, uh, um, uh, Evis. All the whole people Davis kidnap. I'm not trying to say side Davis here, but all the whole people that Davis kidnap are all Ibos. They are all Ibos. He did not kidnap any Flanny man. He did not kidnap, kidnap any Yoruba man. That is that means he had scores to settle with Ibo big men. Though I don't support him in that. Was the case was busy talking trash. What is the what what is the what is the uh, what is uh, 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 Avis kidnapping people got to do with following him men kidnap people and raping our mothers and sisters? What does that got to do with that? It's a shame that people that who call the booze will come out and rant like fools. And ever since the Nigeria, even the color brought this secret outfit, I've not heard anything from Hanese. I'm still waiting. It's better they should respect their self and uh, side the Mazin and the Kalo in this particular uh, aspect. They have never sided him in anything. But in this particular aspect, this security service, they should side him. If not, then we will realize that they are complete first class saboteurs. For Wiki, I pity him. It's a shame. He planned from the onset to massacre people boys. He waited for some time after the Trump study. He waited more to massacre them, to have a, a good time to massacre them. He had been threatening them for a very long time, not because of any pro protest. And that's exactly what he did. We shall have to take note. No soldier will come to any land to massacre people without the governor. Being aware of it, I've told you this. With what happened to Lakey, so just the night, right? Well, what they know how to do is lie, lie, lie here and lie there. So just the night, governor denied, but after some time, they start saying the truth. That to show you how our people, our security forces, lie. How our governors can lie. The same thing is what happened in Obi. But we can brought them and they keep people now. We can denying and they self denying. So it's hard time who we'll secure our land. Like I said before, we don't have any problem with security with a Nigerian force. All we ask is that they should allow us to secure our land from the beginning 
we the was ingenious will normally secure our land even in the village where i came from sometimes we we'll come out with cutlass to secure our land especially when there will be much too much of criminality so this time around who are the criminals they are the flying men and who have to checkmate them not that they are only criminals the killing the murderous art and the rape is what is disturbing us we have criminals everywhere but they are always different they are terrorists the more reason why we have to checkmate them since nigerian government cannot do it for us because they are their kinsmen we have to do it ourselves and besides i wonder why the soldiers are panicking are, are trying to stop them stop the uh, security service after all they told us that they are coming from uh, libya and niger so what is their hazards since they are coming from libya and niger they are not our own flani then let us chase them out of our land it's as simple as that so i wonder what is the hazards like i said before was it case a shame we can say shame. Devil might say shame. Political prostitutes moving around from different party to the, another party, from PDP to APC. Maybe tomorrow they will open another party. That's why I told you, even all this new generation, he cannot do anything to make Nigeria work. Nothing, except that he destroy that so-called constitution automatically. Destroy it. Just throw it away. Squash it. Apart from that, Nigeria can never work. If uh, people like show who is moving, moving around looking for to be a president, I know for that, but I know that guy is just, he, he just somebody who want to be in charge. That's all. There's nothing he can offer. He will still do the same thing. Is it not the same thing Desmond Elliott is doing now? As far as you are working with all those old fools, you will be the same. You will be the same cabal that, that they are. You have to start, first of all, from squash, making sure that you use protest to squash that constitution if you really want a new Nigeria even though we ourselves we are no longer interested what we are looking for is Biafra but now what we are talking about is security outfit that's all so you should stop deceiving yourself like I say we thank Nande Kalo so much for providing this security outfit for us because it's long overdue and our so called Governors and the uh, Hanezendi will refuse to do something because they are afraid of the Flanese because they are corrupt. I'm not saying that it's only them that are corrupt. Even in Yorubaland, their politicians are corrupt. In Fulani, their politicians are corrupt. They are even more corrupt. But it is that our governors have allowed their self to be used by all these Janjaweez. And that should stop. And uh, what will stop it is this secret outfit. It will stop the Fulani men from parading. Kill our innocent mothers and sisters in their farm, in their own farm, and their, in their own land. So please, Nigerian soldiers should stay clear. Nobody should do anything to offend them or to insult them or to disrespect them. We only want to protect our land. Since they have not done it for us, rather, they are busy killing our people for no reason. At the same time, Fulani men are killing our people. Gentlemen and ladies, I have come to the end of this news. I will say, please, like I said before, he heard Dan Juma. It's, he was a retired Nigerian uh, 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 military man. He was the one saying it, not me. Believe him and do the right thing. This is the time we will know who is Sabotua in our land and who is Rui. I'm talking about Haneze, both the junior and the small. For about the Igbo governors, uh, whatever. They are already criminals, picking pocket governors, parading themselves as governors. Gentlemen and ladies, Thank you so much for listening. I say please drop your comment here right now in the comment section and share this news. It's very important and stable as you do. Cheers.